Hey, what's up guys, Radku here, back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. And today is going to be some ban list shenanigans. So, mainly this is going to be my wish list, because this is going to be a long ban list that I 100% guarantee that they're not going to do half the stuff I say here. Like, I really think that this ban list um, could be a chance to get some of the rogue decks, or decks that haven't even seen play in a while, such as uh, True Draco, Spiral or even like <laughs> like Yada Lock. Like seriously, there are a lot of decks right now that aren't seeing play because they have cards that don't need to be on the ban list that are currently on the ban list. So I'm just gonna go through, say my ban list wishes, and um, yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So starting things off, um, I kind of want to see Lunalite Tiger back to one. Now, uh, Orcus abused this card a lot because of the Azathoth, but now that Azathoth is banned, um, there's there's no reason to leave Tiger on the list, cause like there aren't any oppressive rank fours that are like super super good right now, like other than like Abyss Dweller, which at that point Abyss Dweller doesn't do a ton right now, and besides, not a lot of decks are playing rank four. Lunalite um, Orcist might still end up being a deck, but um, like without Azathoth, I feel like there's no reason to leave Tiger on the list, and it's just hurting Lunalites more than anything. Uh, next, I want um, uh, Masterpiece the True Draco Slaying King to one. Now, a lot. this is very controversial, because a lot of people really don't like uh, True Dracos, but I am not one of those people. I personally really, really enjoy True Draco, and um, I really think that this can come back to one. True Draco hasn't done anything in the past year, and I feel like there's just no reason to keep it on the ban list. Now, now there is the fact that um, we still have Dragonic Diagram uh, Limited, and I don't think that thing can come back to uh, much, because uh, it just gives way too much for True Draco. But like, until the format shifts a little bit more, uh, I think just one masterpiece, uh, masterpiece is fine, and I really think um, it will do great. Um, next, um, another very controversial thing, Maxi. Um, Maxi is one of those cards where it can either be a huge equalizer in a game, or it can just completely corrupt the game. So in the OCG, they have Maxi to three, and it's it's a staple three of. It's basically the Ash Blossom of their deck, because it just gains insane advantage, and it just draws so much. This card is what every draw spell wants to be. But the thing is that Maxi doesn't, uh, we can't limit Maxi, because at that point it'll be whoever draws Maxi is going to win the duel. So I actually think that Maxi can come back to three. Now, um, considering how much competitive Yu Gi Oh has shifted, we are back into a combo centric format. Um, sure, um, El Lich is still a deck, and so is Drytron, but even then, Drytron is a pretty um, a pretty good deck to do combos with. So either way, um, I think Maxi can come back. It'll be a great way to control um, some oppressive uh, Link decks or some insane spam decks. And it's it could hurt uh, Rogue decks, but it's still a really, really good card. Uh, next, um, I'm just going to talk about it now. Jet Synchron, O-Lion. Um, glow up blue or glow up bulb. Um, a lot of the tuners on the list can come back, cause um, I can all, I can guarantee uh, in the next two ban lists, Hulk is gonna get hit. I can almost give you a 100% guarantee because of the fact that um, they just gave Hulk a reprint. Now they passed 2020. The reason they didn't hit it at all last year was because of all the promotional material that had Hulk as the cover card. But now that um, 2020's passed, um, they didn't really do much with it. So there is a chance that um, it could uh, avoid the ban list for another um, few formats. But I really think that um, Hulk is going to get hit between the next few formats. And I really think cards like Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion... Um, 
the uh, cards such as Jet Synchron, Glow Up Bulb, uh, Fishboard Blaster, cards that um, are literally on the list just because of uh, Hulk, I really think they could come back. Next is Orcus Harpoor. Now this one is also very controversial because of the fact that um, uh, Orcus was super, super oppressive back in 2019, but um, that that's gone. Um, Harp, um, many people are saying Harp can come back to one, and I completely agree. I love Orcus. I mean, love, love Orcus. It's probably in my top five favorite decks, period. But like, um, Harp Horror, um, it can come back to three, or it can come back, or it doesn't come back at all. That's how I view it, because the thing is that if it stays at one, the deck can use it all the same. We can renew, um, uh, Harp from the Banished Pile super easily. It's not like we're gonna lose anything by having a uh, Harp at three or one. So like Harp at one just removes bricks from the deck. Like it actually makes the deck more consistent to play Harp at one. So at this point, Harp at one would do absolutely nothing. Uh, and Harp at three would do probably the same. Um, I think we can release Harp to three um, without much risk just because of how much the uh, meta has shifted. But I still think Harp would, or um, Orcus will be a very good deck going into the next few formats if they can release Harp. Next are any of the Performa Pal mon monsters, uh, Skulker Bat, uh, Monkey Board, and Plush Fire. I don't think Plush Fire or Monkey Board will be banned, or will come off the ban list anytime soon, because I, I wasn't around in the Pepe format. Um, I didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh that much, uh, but I, what I, from what I heard, um, Monkey Board is a one card. Um, uh, scale and uh, plush fire just gains super advantage and uh, Skulker Bat Joker um, is the card that I've heard a lot of people say could come back for a while now and it just hasn't um, so I really think it could come back maybe to one just to see if uh, Pepe will do anything uh, I doubt it will like full power Pepe it won't do anything like if we had full power Pepe now it would be tier 2 at best. Like, it would be rogue at worst, because the deck is hyper consistent, but it doesn't really have an, um, an end board that is as good. So, yeah. Um, then there is the dragon rulers. Um, I've avoided talking about them for a little bit. So, um, Tempest has been on the ban list, or uh, uh, limited for a while now. I think they might be able to unlimit Tempest and see what happens there, because there aren't any good win decks. But I also think that they can release title to one. Now, Dragon Rulers have been some of the most oppressive cards in the entire game. They were some of the strongest cards in the entire game, which really does change a lot of stuff if we can get any of them back. But I think Title would be the least impactful because Fire and um, Wind have actually been seeing play, um, and so have Earth, especially with Ad Emancipator Prank Kids being a really, really good deck this format. Um, I really think none of the other ones could come back, but Water is the only outlier. Uh, this will be used in Atlantean stuff, but like I really doubt it's going to be done in anything else. But I think Tidal can definitely come back to one, and maybe we can see um, Tempest come to two. Then the god that created the ban list itself, Yadagarasu. This card can come back to three. I don't care what anybody says. Yadagarasu is not gonna do nothing. It can. It can come back to three, no problem. Um, sure, it might seem a bit unfair to have Yadagarasu at all, because uh, it just stops an, a game mechanic, but who cares? Uh, Yadagarasu to three, it, it won't do anything. It wouldn't have done anything for the past couple years after they hit um, uh, What's-Its-Face, uh, the Chaos Dragon. Um, but yeah, it, it can come back to three, who cares? Um, then there's um, Thunder Dragon Colossus. This card can come back to 
one. I, I give it one. I really like Thunder Dragon. I'm, I'm a fan of all of the cards from the uh, 2019 format. I love Sky Striker, Salomon Great, Thunder Dragon, and Orcus. Um, and I really think that um, Thunder Dragons need this Colossus because currently the Thunder Dragon Chaos decks are really, really good, but they're just super um, inconsistent with their end boards. Um, like, they don't have any decent end boards that really put them above any other deck. But I think if we can get Colossus with that one sided mistake back or even errata it if you really want to to make it double sided uh just to see how uh it works in the format or maybe make it summoning conditions a bit harder because it was abused really easily in stuff like dragon link but like still this card is fine to come back at one um it's been on the ban list for long enough it's okay uh next we have uh heavy metal foes electromite um this card's fine. Um, it, it The problem that I see with Electromite is that it's really good in generic Pendulum decks. Um, I was watching a Kali Effect video recently. Um, he said that, um, like, he made a fair point that um, Pendulum shouldn't be a deck. That's like saying Xyz is a deck. No, it's not. It's a mechanic. And the fact is that if we continue to um, make support that generically helps a specific summoning method, it will be toxic for the game. I think um, Electromite can come to one, but I don't think uh, Konami should continue uh, supporting uh, generic pendulums, nor should they support uh, any other uh, mechanic that way. I feel like they should work on supporting archetypes alone instead of supporting that because at this point it's just gonna um if electromite comes to one pendulum decks will be viable again which is nice i really do like pendulum magician but still i don't know if we should risk it um this card i think can stay on the forbidden list for another couple formats maybe come back to one but yeah um ne um next um let's see uh, there, there are a lot of cards on the ban list. I'm just trying to uh, slowly work through all of them. Ah, yes. Our good friend, Salaman Great Mirage Stallio. This card can come to three. N like, I've heard a lot of Salaman Great players say they're not even going to play Mirage Stallio just because they don't care anymore. The card isn't going to boost Salaman Great to anything. Like, it's Salaman Mediocre at best. Ahaha, <laughs> got him. Uh, but, like, still, it's it's not a bad card. It's a decent card, and it will help Salaman Great a lot. But, again, like I said, Salaman Mediocre. This card isn't going to do anything. It's not going to help Salaman Great a lot. But it's going to give him a nice bit of support, and it doesn't need to stay banned. So, uh, let's see, going into some spell cards. There are a lot of spell cards on the ban list. Uh, one of them I've been looking at recently is Giant True Nate. Now, this card returns spells and traps to the hand, and I feel like it is on the ban list for a good reason. Um, like, I'm, I've actually heard some people say that this card might be able to come back to one, um, and, cause, um, What's-Its-Face came back to one. The, um... Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, but like this card is like really, really toxic because it removes any floating effects a spell could have, and it's just really, really toxic. Um, yeah, I don't think it can come back at all. Um, so let's see, going over some other spell cards, there really isn't any other spell card I think can come back other than a, a Sky Striker Mobilizing Ga Engage. Um, this card to one. That's it. Because the thing is, the Sky Striker engine um, was really, really good back in the last format. Um, back in the last Master Rule, to be more specific. Um, it isn't going to do anything anymore. Um, like, Sky Strikers is a solid rogue pick, and Engage to 1 would give it a huge boost in consistency, but I doubt it would do much in the format, especially with cards like VFD, which I'll get to the current decks now, uh, or later in the video. But, like, still, I really think Engage can come back to 1, just because of the fact that it's just fine. It's not gonna do anything. Uh, I'm gonna ignore the traps, because none of the traps can come back. 
like at all. Um, next, um, there's the Armageddon Knight and Dark Greffer issue, as well as all of the dangers. Um, I feel like this is literally a video in support of Orcus, just because I want a bunch of Orcus cards, um, back, but no, none of them can come back. Um, literally, those cards don't deserve to come back, they don't need to come back, and they'll be too generic, um, all the dangers are really good, and I don't think they can. Next, Dynamite. Um, Knight, the true Draco fighter. I think this card can come back to two. Um, just as a transitional period, so it can come back to three. Like I said, true Draco isn't doing anything. There's no reason to have it like on the ban list. And I feel like, um, uh, just searching the traps isn't gonna do a ton, especially with True King's Return back at three. So I really don't think it's gonna pose much of an issue, but it's still pretty good. Uh, Dino Wrestler Pankertops, um, this card was a staple, but it wasn't oppressive, and I don't know why Konami would hit it to, uh, uh, one. Like, I think it could stay at two, cause, I'm um, sure this card is really strong, it gives you a free body on the field, and, uh, it's really good for spot removal, but I do I, I think this card can come back to two. It's not going to do anything. Like, it's a staple current. Like, it's not even a staple currently just because of how much uh, consistency it has. Because, like, it's a good one of. But, like, the fact is that, like, people are going to play other cards over it. And there's no real reason to. Next, uh, Double Iris Magician. It hasn't done anything at one. It's going to come to three. Trust me. Like, they uh, they brought it back to one just to see how uh, to test the water. It's not going to do anything. So, um, yeah. Next, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. This card can come to three. Uh, with the errata, it's still being played. It's just a hard once per turn. Plus, people aren't going to play it at more than one copy. So, either way, it doesn't matter. This card can come back to three. Um, yeah. Uh, the errata just really helped the card. Um, oh, I forgot to mention Firewall Dragon. That card's going to come back, but, um, I'll talk about it later. Uh, Salomon Great Gazelle. Um, this card is a... <laughs> I, I really want to help Salomon Great here. Like, Salomon Great needs some more help right now. And I really think just bringing Gazelle back to two um, isn't going to do anything for the deck. It's actually going to help the consistency of the deck. Plus, the deck already plays Pot of Desires. So, like, if we can have one more copy of Gazelle, it would be fine. Um, it would give uh, Salomon Great a nice boost. Um, and I want to emphasize this that I don't think these should all come back in one ban list. This should slowly trickle down. Uh, these are just the ones I think can do something. Uh, Servant of Endymion. Um, if we bring Electrum, uh, no, this card has to stay on the ban list. Uh, just because um, the Endymion stuff is broken and it's just really, really good. But Servant, uh, it can't really come back at this point. This card is a free special summon from the deck for literally any deck that plays spell cards. But, um... I don't think Servant can come back. It's a really good card. Um, it's great for Pendulum Magicians, but I doubt that it's going to do anything. Or, uh, I doubt that it's ever going to come back. Um, next, uh, Spirals. Um, I, I have avoided talking about Spirals, uh, this entire list. Uh, there's Master Plan, there's Quick Fix, and there's, um, that field spell that's limited. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, like Spiral Resort or something. Uh, yeah. But, like, I, the, just the fact that Spiral became so good so quickly, um, just emphasizes the fact that this deck is, is not ready to be back in the format. Um, my friend Polylord has been, uh, making Spiral, um, attempting to make Spiral good again, but he's just throwing a bunch of staples in there, like Dragoon, uh, Infinite Negates, um, he's just, like, trying to put a bunch of spam cards in there, um, with a small spiral engine and it's not really gonna do much but like at this point i don't think any of the spiral cards can come back right now uh especially master plan quick fix and resort of course uh the only cards that are hit but like still i don't think any of them can come back right now the deck is just too good and i think we should wait a few formats before uh even thinking about touching spirals um, like I said earlier, Tempest can come to two. Uh, it has done absolutely nothing at three. Um, yeah. Next. Okay, this one might seem off. Uh, I think Rat Pier can come to two. 
now this is very very controversial because um rap here is the main piece in zodiac and um zodiac is still really really good right now like zodiac is a tier two deck right now and I don't think people want to help uh, Zodiac right now, but I think Rat Pier can come to one or to two because what it can do is it can keep people from abusing it in the Zodiac engine. Because like one of the biggest things is like if a deck is too splashable, it's gonna see too much play. Um, I emphasize Orcist, Sky Strikers, um, uh, Zodiac, um, Eldritch. Like those decks are all going to get hit or have gotten hit. And I just really think that uh, Rat Pier can come to one or to two, just because it will help the deck out a little bit without making it into the full on engine, and it might help the deck out a lot um next uh rusty bardish um this card can come to three it has done nothing at one and besides people only play it at one so it doesn't really matter um next uh there really aren't a ton of synchro monsters that can come back although i think they should think about uh the um the ice barrier ones because of the new structure deck maybe a boost to ice barriers would be nice uh including the lord of the uh, tiger king of the ice barrier and trishula um these are like the only cards that really are on the ban list um but like i really think that they could come back to two uh just because like i know they're not a hard once per turn but um who cares um ignister prominence uh blasting draco slayer uh no um <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna touch on that. Um, uh, Beat Rice can come back to three. No one's gonna do anything. Uh, Burning Abyss is uh, not even rogue right now. Like, Burning Abyss is also a really, really good deck, and I really, really like it, but I don't think it can come back. Um, now, Dryden't. I think Dryden't can come to two. Um, like, I've gotten death threats because of Dryden uh, coming back to do, uh, but I've been advocating for it for a little bit now. Um, I don't think Dryden will do anything at two, just like it didn't do anything at zero. But, um, like, if we leave a rat here on the list, the deck can't easily get out three Drydens. If we leave Dryden on the list, um, the deck isn't easily going to be able to get all of them out. So, like, really, who cares? Like, it's not going to do anything. Just bring Dryden back to two uh, and just see how it goes. Next, I want to punch Konami because Called by the Grave is still on the ban list. It does not need to be on the ban list. I hate control formats. Um, control formats are more of an innovation format, per se. Uh, it's more made to, um, help decks become better. Um, and, like, it really did help. Uh, but I think we're done with the control format. Thank you very much. This card can come to two. Allow us to move on. Um, now, let's see. Dragonic Diagram, like I said earlier in the video, uh, just provides too much advantage for, uh, uh, true Draco, I don't think it can come back to more than two at most, and I don't think it can come back in this next ban list at all. Um, let's see. <laughs> there aren't a lot of cards right now um, that can really come back. Um, Salomon Great Circle is one, but like, I've already talked about the fact that like, Salomon Great is super consistent currently. Um, with cards like Lady Debug, um, Cybers Buffalo, um, Solomon Great, or, um, the one copy of Circle we have, and then the three copies of Sign at Mining. You have a ton of ways of searching your Solomon Great cards, and I don't think Circle needs to come back if we help the deck in with other cards, but, like, Circle would be a nice card to have at more than just one. Um, then we have, uh, some other generic cards on the ban list. Um, there's, of course, Zodiac Barrage. This card can't come back. Uh, provides too much advantage for Zodiac. Uh, there is Spiral Resort, which no. Just, just no. Um, Trickstar Light Stage. Now, with Orcus Hit, I think Light Stage could come back to do. Um, the deck, um, got, like, destroyed after Light Stage got hit. And I wouldn't mind actually being able to play, um, Sky Striker Trickstar. Um, but, like, still, um, I think, uh, Light Stage can come back to two. 
Um, then, of course, there's the traps. Um, no. Um, malicious or er, uh, has to stay at three because or er, has to stay at two. Uh, it gains free advantage because uh, darn Konami if they give us an extender back. Um, Red Reboot, actually, I forgot to talk about. Uh, Red Reboot can come to three. Um, it, 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 it halves your life points to negate a trap or a spell. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Like, really, it's just gonna be a side deck staple. That's it. Um, it, it can come back to two or three. Um, True King's Return, this was literally a transitional phase. True King's Return has done absolutely nothing. Um, and I really don't think it's going to do anything, so they're gonna bring it back to three. Um, now it's time to talk about the current, uh, best decks of the format. There is Drytron, Eldlich, and, um, there's Virtual World. Now, Virtual World isn't the problem. True King of All Calamities is the problem ban that card or at least limit it. We all know Konami is too scared to limit True King of All Calamities because they fear it. Um, but still, I think it can go to three, uh, to uh, zero or even one. Just, just bring it to one just to slowly transition into banning it because they're going to realize that it's still toxic at one and then they're finally going to ban it. Uh, but like, just just get that card out of the format. That card's way too oppressive. That card's way too good. Um, it just needs to go. Um, that's all the hit the virtual world needs. Like, sure, virtual world has the hand loop, which is cool, but it's not really a serious threat at this point. Um, I really don't think um, virtual world needs to get hit uh, that much, so... You know, it, again, Virtual World is not the problem, it's True King of All Calamities. So let's go over to Eldlich. Eldlich is a deck that has been in the format forever. It's been tier 1 or tier 2 the entire time, ever since its release. And this deck needs to get hit. This deck is literally just an engine. Uh, Zodiac Eldlich, um, Dragoon Eldlich, there's freaking dual avatar Eldlich. There's too many variants of Eldlich, and the fact is that Eldlich is the problem. I think we need to hit um, Sanguine to one. Um, it's still good if we hit Sanguine to one. Um, I got this comment recently that um, Sanguine to one wouldn't do anything because they have Black Awakening. No one plays Black Awakening. The card is not even played in Zudi er, in their deck uh, because it locks you into zombies. Now, the whole point of the Eldritch engine is to be able to play on your opponent's turn. So the fact is that if you play Awakening, a Black Awakening, there's no point in playing the deck. So, like, at this point, Sanguine to one... Um, the deck does nothing, uh, or the deck is still good. Um, hitting Lord wouldn't do much. Like, it would actually kill the deck if they hit Lord at all. So, like, plus, they everybody plays it at two. So we know they won't semi-limit it. And if they limit it, the deck is going to be trash. So I really think that they can hit Sanguine to one. And then um, everything will be fine. The deck will still be playable. It'll still have the engine. It'll just be a lot harder to um, keep the consistency up. And I really think that is the best way to go. Oh, the bane of my existence, <laughs> Drytron. I think it is too early to hit Drytron. I don't think they're going to risk hitting Drytron right now, considering how new it is. Um, they're just going to give it one ban list before, like, destroying it into the ground. I think next ban list, they're going to hit Ben 10 to 1 and maybe find a way to hit, like, Alpha or Fafnir, because those are the problem cards. But, like, I really don't think that anything else uh, is much of a risk. But, um, yeah, that is going to be it for my ban list wish list. A uh, long video, um, took a lot of time, half an hour, um, but, uh, yeah, it is definitely what I want, uh, but tell me what you want down in the comments. Tell me if you disagree with any of the stuff I said, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Peace, guys.